Now, uh, the Adama State Governorship Election Tribunal has confirmed Maru Fintiri as the re-elected governor of the state in the March 2023 election. Fintiri of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, won with a number of 430,861 votes, defeating Aisha Binani, Dahiru of the All Progressive Congress, APC. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INET, declared Fintiri as the winner after a controversial supplementary poll. Now the courts upheld Fintory's second term victory, despite attempts by other contestants to nullify his victory. The controversy began, uh, began after resident electoral commissioner uh, Udu Yunusa Ari announced that Binani as the winner of the poll, leading to INEC nullifying his decision and suspending him. This indeed is another memorable day in the annals of Adama State, as we celebrate yet another victory in the affirmation of the mandate freely given by the majority of voters of Adama State in March 2023. The Adama State Governorship Election Tribunal has once again passed its verdict on the petition brought before it by the last category of petitioners. It is a verdict in favor of popular will. It is a verdict that affirms, reaffirms that the truth is sacred and justice is proportionately serve to all parties. Today, we are all witnesses to the triumph of reality over fiction, truth over falsehood, and honesty over deceit. This is worthy of celebration and a tale we shall be proud to pass on to our forebearers in Adama State. The journey might be short, but the story is fully loaded that we provided an invaluable environment for democratic contest. We offered ourselves for free and fair election, ran an issue-based campaign devoid of rancor, protected our votes, and won squarely, despite the attempt to deny us victory by the machination of desperate politicians and had the facility to walk into the tribunal to defend our mandate against capture. Fellow citizens of Adama State, this verdict has magnificently closed this phase of litigation. It has no doubt consumed our productive times and energy. But I must tell you that it has not in any way imposed on our resolve to work for our people and our dear state. We have remained undistracted on our mandate and undeterred on the delivery of good governance to Adama. This victory is therefore not only a tonic that will spur us to rededicate our commitment to call of our democratic mandate by ensuring that in Adama state we leave no one behind and nothing untouched. Our eight-point agenda is on course and firing with the required speed and precision. This is a victory for doing more. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.